Okay, we're finally fixing the flip key today. We've been sent by Colin. Um, it's off a Ford Focus 2012 or 13, and you press the button, and that's as far as it goes. You have to pull it right the way out to get it out. A bit sad looking and not very good really. So we're going to show you how it's to uh, swap it into this repair case. This is one that we've been sent by Colin as well, by the customer, and this one springs out nice. And we're just going to swap the electronics over. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get the blade out. Okay, and we need to open the case, which is really straightforward. Again, as always, these are our best friends. You squeeze the handle and the jaws open. And this is what we use to open up most keys. So you want to pop the, the end of the pliers into here. Give it a squeeze. And that has opened up the key nice and easy. Okay, so we're going to put, we need this part here. And that's no good. We're going to get rid of that. We don't need these anymore. And the ring we'll keep to put into the new key. And this is what we've got left. This is the important bit. And we're going to take this board out of here. Okay, so rather than trying to get a screwdriver in there and maybe damage something, if you just turn it over and tap it, that will just come out nice and easy. Okay, just to show you, this part here is really important. It gets damaged and it stops the car from starting. Okay. Okay, so the new case has obviously got to come open. So once again, pliers in there, this should come open nice and easy. Open it up, and all the spring mechanism is going to come out. That's no problem. Just keep it all safe. Okay, next thing is to pop the circuit board into here. That should just sit in there nicely. Okay, next we've got the blade mechanism. Now, you firstly... This part here is different to this. It's been made differently. So you can't just put this bit into your new case. It won't work, okay? So forget about that. The next thing is, can you take this blade out and put it into this key? You might be able to, but the trouble is the little tail that's in there is different to the little tail on the end of this one. And so if you want to put this key into this uh, me hinge mechanism, you're going to need to file it down slightly and mess about. Okay, we're just going to cut this key, so it's going to be no bother. All right, but you can have a go at doing that if you want. Okay, so next thing is to build up this mechanism here. And we just need to pop this so that there's only one way this will go through. Okay, it's just a little bit fiddly. Excuse the state of my hands. I've been stripping locks today and they're a bit, a bit sore. Okay, next thing is to pop the spring into, uh, into here. So it's the end without the tail. That goes into there. Okay. Okay, next thing we're going to take the blade mechanism and it needs to go onto this half of the repair key. This little spigot here lines up with that hole. So you just have to bear with me while we line it up. Okay. And then you have to remember that it's going to flick that way. So you have to wind it this way. So wind it around. Okay. So that's all cool. Okay, so that's all good. The next thing is we need to marry up this part of the key with this part of the key. Okay, it's not very simple. It's just a case of, it might be easy if you let the blade slightly out. That's it, let the blade out. And then give it a bit of a squeeze. Okay, so now we've got that all together, the blade folds over and flicks just fine so that's good the only thing we have forgotten is this end here has a ring and that should be through there so I'm just going to open it up quickly and put that on there okay so all I did there was just opened it up slightly and push the ring into there so the rings in there now okay the next thing 
is to put a battery in. Okay, so we've got a Maxell 2032. We're going to slide it in, a bit fiddly. So yeah, that end has to go in first and then it disappears inside. And then don't forget we've got a little screw that needs to go into there. That's going to keep the key together. I don't want to have a screw loose. So let's just screw that up. I should have had a decent screwdriver, but anyway. Yep. All right, nearly that. Okay, so that's all good. Okay, the last thing is these clips need to go into the key. All right, so just pop that one in first. Okay, so that's that cover on just by pushing each tab down and eventually it clicks into place. And the last thing now we need to do is cut this key blade. Okay, so if you can get your key cut by someone who's got a machine that can cut it to code, it gives you a better finish and it means that it's as the original key was. Okay, so there we go. The blade has been cut on the computer, so that's all good to go, the same as the customer's blade and it flips out nice. So with a three button forward focus key, you are good to go.